okay by pressing f4 and if you don't want to enter system will automatically take on basis of your plant okay now if you remember that if we talk about the first screen in scheduling parameter we said that our production will be forward scheduled that's why system picked up forward scheduling as a default though i can change here from backward to other okay now i'll do one thing i enter a quantity say uh, 200 metric ton right and i am saying that my plant my order should be started by today okay now system will automatically calculate my end date on basis of availability let's see what comes it said that you will start if you start on 7th your production will be end by 20th how how will you calculate it Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So as I created the order system, automatically copied few masters your bomb and routing in master tab. See, system copied my bomb routing as well as my bill of material. But still, if I want to override this selection, uh, and in our uh, uh, order tab dependent parameter, we have defined that production version should be picked up manually. remember yeah 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 we have done this in the past okay manually that's why system hasn't picked up any production version if i would have assigned if i assigned the automatically pick up then at that condition system will automatically select the production version and will assign the relevant routing and bomb here though i can okay. though i can in this situation i can assign my own version okay so what system done system copied bomb and routing now what comes in routing in routing will have a our work center and in our work center what we have defined we have defined formula for calculation so how system calculated the date system first of all go in routing then it will go in work center and then in within a work center system will use these two formula to calculate my production time i have entered there 200 right so i check it what oh, how no how many hours are coming So I'm entering 200 metric ton here. Setup we entered here one R. Our first formula is setup, which says that you need to do only one time setup. The setup time is fixed. Second, machine. Machine machine is a direct relationship with your production quantity. If you want to produce one metric ton, then your machine will run for one R. So here you this is relationship. Now test test it. it is saying that you need 2 not 1 r for production of 200 metric ton right ajay i'm right right okay 2 not 1 r now let's 2 not 1 divided by 24 it mean that 8 days are required because i have defined 24 hour working right so is it right system is system is showing me the 20 october it means system is showing the showing uh, showing that you need 13 days to complete the production 13 days 200 uh, divided by see i i need 200 hours and my machine is operating 24 hours it, it mean that i need 8 hours but system is saying that you don't need 8 hours you need 13 hours 13 that sorry 13 days 13 days 13 days into 
going to run copy and use I tell you how. If you remember, Ajay, initially I told about one calendar. Yes, our factory calendar. Right. Factory calendar. So here in this, here in this factory calendar, five working days are there. Five working days. Uh, two, two weekly holidays. So okay. if I start from seventh, okay. So eight first. I need eight days. Okay. As per the formula, so first, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, are you getting my voice? Uh, no, uh, last few sentences uh, I am not able to hear. You just told me the, the, I will tell you the how it's calculated uh, for the factory calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have... See, okay. So in factory calendar, we define that uh, there is a five working days in my company, in my plant. Okay. On a weekly basis. On a weekly basis. Okay. So system started counting eight days from my eighth. Okay. So first, second. These two are holiday. Okay. Then third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Again, my holiday. Okay. This is my eighth, eighth day. Though it is in 8.37, that's why system consider the 8.37. Sorry, the 20. Okay. This is a broader view where system is telling about the date. Now we'll see after order creation, we'll see the capacity planning part on what basis system should reserve this 201 hour against this production order that comes under the capacity planning. Right. So I'll do one thing. I'm again going back to order. So this is my order. Got it right? We started why system is uh, given you the uh, and that is 20th because it considered first of all is consider the capacity capacity from work center and after that that uh, system draw that capacity on my factory calendar. Right. Now see here uh, the status which I was telling about. See these are a few status system automatically activated. Whenever you create the status system, is system first of all telling me your status created. It is telling me you haven't checked material availability. Okay, then sister, this is again a default status settlement rule created. So what I do one thing, I click on the material availability checked, right? So it is giving me some error, but see. Now I'm checking the cap capacity availability. It says that you have a capacity available at all work center. So this is one precautionary step. Okay. Where if I want to know this, whenever you want to produce anything, you should have two things. You should have raw material, you should have machine. So these two indicators are these two buttons are relevant to the capacity and material uh, checking. Now I do one thing. This order has a created state. What will happen then if I want to use this order in my production, I need to release it. So I'm going to release the order. See the system has turned status from created to released. Right. And it is doing all things on my header level. That's why we have uh, assign their order uh, status management at her header level. Man, what is the meaning of the man section? It is for the availability check, material availability check, not check. Okay. 
ओके ओके एम एन सी सेटलमेंट फॉर दटलमेंट नॉट थ्रू सेटलमेंट रूट क्रिएटेड It means that these three active status are active. System will always display active status. When, if you remember that the earlier here was a, earlier here was CRDD created. Earlier created was my active status. As soon as as soon as I released it, the created system automatically removed the created status and it changed to released. And uh, what is the uh, user status? R A. Yes, that is I, that is I was telling you, na. If you want to assign any status, apart from, from, apart from your uh, standard status, this is your user status. Yes. I'll do one thing. I am saving the order. It has given me order number. So now, now we'll go a little bit in capacity part. I have created one order. Capacity on work center based. You can uh, have a capacity on capacity uh, view. I mean, uh, if you remember that we created one capacity where we define the start and end time and all that, and we assign that capacity to our work center. Then comes your order view. You can directly view capacity on your order base. So we'll do one thing. We'll see on. Work center level because right now we have we have only one work center. Okay, so I can enter my work center here. This is my this is my work center here. Capacity planner group which we have created and we assign to uh, some other group, na. Actually, this is an optional field. If you want to see the capacity planner differently, now plant. Now, if I enter, press enter, what will system show me? See, this is the equation which system showing me. It is it is set in the week. So it is the forty one week. Okay, in forty one week, uh, this is my available capacity. I have twenty four hours. Okay. You have 201 hours. This is a week, na? This is my weekly available capacity. I have I have defined that our machine will work on all 24 hours, and my factory calendar says that I have only five working days. It means that for 24 into five, 120 hours available in my one week, right? Okay. Here the 72 hours are available. Okay, now how system distributed this? See, this is my available capacity here. System is showing me the capacity load on which load your machine will go. So here seventy two hours available. So system first of all assign the capacity on base of first comes first assign model. Okay, where the week which is coming next system will assign to that layer week. After it is something is remaining, it will assign to another week. Okay, so here seventy-two hours was available initially, so system has assigned seventy-two hours. Okay, and it is saying that you are on the hundred percent load, and your remaining capacity is zero because you have utilized seventy-two hours. In the second week, the situation is same. You you has one twenty hours against that one twenty hours. There is a requirement of one twenty hours. And hand you are again on a hundred percent load, and remaining is zero. But when we talk about the third week, here you have one twenty hours, but system required only nine hours. Eight percent utilization. Then eight percent utilization, and you have a triple zero one hours. What will happen if I create another order? Then system will assign to remaining coin remaining capacity to third week. We we need two not one hours, right? So system booked the seventy two on first hour, one twenty on second sorry second. week, and ninth on third week. So when uh, when we talk about the uh, any uh, any plant where lots of machines are there on. 
so many production processes are going on this capacity situation tell us about the availability this capacity situation of any work center directs planning department to plan their work according to the remaining capacity it will have a multiple okay ajay it will have a multiple see this is again one what i had done earlier we have seen the standard view which was simply telling us about weak based capacity but now if i want to know that what are the different orders within this week then i'll go to de detailed capacity list here system will tell me 41st week this order number this item this is this peak the requirement means final requirement and this is the requirement which he has booked Well, this is of course the same order the three weeks are booked. Mm. If we create one more order, then it will assign. We'll do one thing now. We'll create one more order here. We'll keep around uh, say the hundred. Go for the third. Uh, Now see what we what are the changes happens in this view. In standard, see what happened. See what what happened. System is saying that you have additional requirement and you yeah. cannot fulfill in first and second week. Your load capacity load goes to two hundred percent. No. Okay, Hello? yeah. So this is my planning part. If I go and see detailed capacity list, in detailed capacity list, the system is showing me different order types and different Sorry. quantities. Order. It will go to the okay, hundred percent, percent, thirty-two hours. It gives the detail, but not the capacity status. Here, here it is giving. Here it is giving me capacity status, na? Right. Here is the actual picture. What is the status of the workload on each work end? <coughs> Now this is a part of when we talk about the capacity. Uh, capacity has a three part. First is capacity planning. so right now we have seen that system has calculated our capacity based on work center so this is the situation this is my plan okay now the second part in this situation i want to do some kind of changes in this this situation so it is called capacity leveling where will dispatch or deallocate some capacity from one work center to another work center or from some period to another period right right <clears throat> so a capacity leveling and evaluation will